my channel. So today we're back with another haul. It's kind of the classic for my channel. Until I spark up enough like creativity to do something else. We have another haul today. A boohoo haul. So this is actually quite a big haul if I say so myself. Um, I think there's about 10 things in here um, and it's a very big range so stay tuned. On Cyber Monday there was obviously still some deals going on, everything was really really cheap. She just looked today to be nosy and I think they have like up to 80% off still so don't think I gained anything by buying it on Cyber Monday, Black Friday but anyway. So if you like these sorts of videos, basically clothing hauls, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel below for more. First thing I picked up is this little cute crop top and it's in like a khaki green shade. Everything here I actually got in a size 10. Um, that's like my normal size and I think Boohoo's fairly true to size. So this is the little crop top so it's got sort of like a cut boob effect. It's actually called a woven cut crop top. <laughs> I actually got for £5.60 in the sale which that's kind of a bargain I'm not gonna lie. The quality is actually quite good. So it's got some detailing under the boob and here, um, so it's quite like a nice top. It's double layered over the boob, so that's not see-through. The only thing that may be see-through is the bit under the boobs, but literally it's green, you're not going to see that much. It's got like a zip on the side, so I don't think it's going to be able to go over your head, I guess, but you can unzip it fully. Well, I didn't know when I bought it, but it's actually got like a cross neck at the back. So you've got the two straps to come up on the front and then on the back it's kind of like a make better sense in the try on but first impressions of this it's actually quite good quality. I'd probably wear like a nude sort of underwear with this. It'd just be nice with some leather look leggings or some leather jeans, coated jeans, I don't know just not like a nice going out top. Maybe like Christmas, green Christmas trees. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's a really nice top and I definitely am going to keep hold of this one. Okay, the next thing I picked up is a ribbed shoulder pad t-shirt. So, I don't know about anyone else, but these shoulder pad t-shirts are literally a vibe at the minute. I have one from Zara, but it's like elastic like around the waist, so it's not doesn't actually tuck into your jeans. And I just want a long t-shirt one of it. This is actually more oversized than I thought. Um, it might be alright on. I did get this in a size 10, but it looks quite big. So... You've got the shoulder pads here, they're quite like small shoulder pads, they're literally like this sort of big. Um, but then again, it's on your shoulders, it's just going to stick out and make it look like a nice shoulder padded t-shirt anyway. Um, and then it's rib detail, this came in nude, white and I think maybe khaki as well. Um, but I just went for the black. But yeah, it's nice and big, it's long and I think it's going to look really nice tucked into some jeans. I hope it's just not too baggy. And I don't want to make myself look really manly with these shoulder pads. So. Hopefully it'll be all right. Not that see-through either. Um, obviously you can see lights through it because it's lights, but I think if you're just wearing this with like a black or a nude bra, I think you'll be good to go. And get this it was three pounds, and I just thought that was a bit of a bargain, really. Um, you're getting a proper good quality top with like shoulder pads, just like a long t-shirt. And if you go to Primark and get like a normal plain like vest t-shirt, that's literally going to be like two pound fifty. So I'm glad I've got like a nice designed t-shirt, it's, it's a bit better than a boring t-shirt for literally £3. So definitely have a look, it might still be cheap now. But the next thing I picked up is purely just like a pleasure buy, okay. So I'm not going to be wearing these out or anything, you won't see me walking around town in these. Um, this is just like purely for lounging around. So what I bought is a little two pack of runner shorts. However, these are absolutely tiny for a size 10. Oh my God, they don't even stretch. Yeah, no, these are gonna have to go back and I'm gonna have to get a bigger size. That's not a size 10, I'm sorry. That is like a size six. But anyway, so I just got this two pack of little runner shorts. So I was actually gonna use these for like lounging around my house, pajama shorts. Um, so they've got a little tie up detailing on the front so you can put it in a bow but it's not like adjustable waist. It's literally like rock solid so don't try squishing them. Maybe size up I would advise. But I'm probably not going to be able to actually get that over my legs. Um, but quality wise it actually is quite good quality. It feels quite thick. Um, it's not see through and either way I would wear this for sort of lounge wear so it doesn't matter too much. But yeah virtually you're getting these shorts for £2.50 each um, because together as a two pack they were £5.00. Um, but I would say 100% size up. I can't even try these on for you. But you can just imagine what they'll look like. Just basic pyjama shorts. If everyone else feels this. But when you order something in your size and it comes too small. And you're like, have I gained weight? Like, 
am I bigger than a size 10 now? Like, it just gives my mind a bit of confusion. But anyway, I do really like these shorts. I'm definitely going to get them in a size up because I think they're just really nice and it comes in a two pack as well. Yeah, they are good quality shorts. Just definitely size up. Like, the next thing I picked up is the same top as the black one, but I got a white shoulder padded top. Um... I will say this one looks very see-through, like you can kind of see my hand through it if I'm honest. It's literally just the same as the other top, it's quite wide, um, but hopefully it won't be too see-through, so it'll just be nice to tuck in some jeans again. But for £3, you can't really complain about the quality because it's £3. I definitely really like the style of this top, I wish I picked up the nude as well, seeing it was literally three pounds actually know how many times i've said three pounds in the last minute Just casual top tuck into some jeans you can dress it up if you want um but i personally have it as a like a nice casual top but yeah if you just want to find some nice basic tops for good money and value um definitely have a look at boohoo because they have a lot of basic t-shirts and tops and shoulder padded tops for literally about three pounds so definitely have a look thing i picked up i'm really excited for because i've been wanting one of these for ages Obviously I'm wearing a racer neck bodysuit now, which is kind of like the trend recently. Like it's just a simple thing you need for your wardrobe. Um, I've got one in white, I've got one in black, but they're all see-through. So I'm hoping one's from Zara for Christmas, um, just because I know they're the best quality. However, I didn't ask for a nude. Um, so I saw this on the website, um, hoping it wasn't going to be see-through. So they actually called it a double layer bodysuit, praying it'll be okay. And I think with the nude colour as well, it should be alright. However, I didn't get this in tall, so hopefully it's going to fit like my torso. This one's a tall and it fits perfectly, so I'm just going to have to try it on. And if not, I'll just tuck it in. No biggie. So this bodysuit was down to £4. It's kind of unreal for a nice bodysuit. Um, so basically it's just this nice nude colour. It's quite stretchy, it's kind of like a slinky material. Casual bodysuit to wear some jeans or like some flares or some trousers. I don't really know what anyone wears these days. The next thing I picked up again is a nice little essential. I think everyone needs it. However, everywhere I buy these from, they're just so see-through and it really, really aggravates me. So I actually picked up some tall black leggings. Um, they look quite long, so hopefully they'll fit my legs. Um, but... I just really pray these aren't see-through. There's nothing worse than having some leggings and just seeing everything through them and you're literally like, what's the point of wasting my money? So I've never really like gone around wearing leggings unless it's like leather leggings because I just find they're so see-through and I just don't want my whole behind showing. They're all right. I'll have to try them on to let you know, but they seem all right. That's all I'm going to give it for now. It's, it's not the thickest of materials, but... It's not the thinnest either. Elastic waist, um, they need a little iron, but yeah, it's just some plain black leggings. I just thought hoodie season is here. This with like a nice oversized hoodie or just to wear with like a nice big jacket. I don't really know. Leggings are just an essential sort of thing for a girl's wardrobe, do you know what I mean? So the leggings were six pounds. They were in the tall section, so I don't know if the like regular section will be cheaper or not. Um, but I'd say around six pounds, five pounds for a pair of leggings, so that's quite good. Um, I'll do a little try on but I don't think the quality is going to be too bad either hopefully so the next thing I got you're either going to absolutely love or hate um, I'm actually not sure yet I'm kind of in the middle I originally saw them in grey and that is what I wanted but they were literally out of stock in my size and I could have cried about it really um, so I just got them in nude just to try them on to see if I like them and I'm not going to lie the nude's not too bad anyway so I might actually keep hold of these and then get the grey when it's back in stock. Joggers were £13 and if you have a look at them, I think they're worth it, you know. Little seam detail down the front so it's not just like a plain jogger. I think these were some really nice chunky trainers, a nice little white bodysuit. That's actually a vibe, I'm sorry it is. I'm hoping it's not going to be see-through because it's sort of jogger material. But it's not the thickest of material. So if you just wear the relevant underwear underneath, I think it'll be alright. But yeah, I just think these are so cool. Just imagine these in grey as well. Um, but now I'm seeing the nude that I knew that actually quite nice to be fair. Joggers for £13 is pretty decent. Um, but these are sort of like special wide leg joggers. So yeah. £13 size 10 bargain. So the next thing I picked up is this really cute little ruched puff sleeve crop top. I don't really know. It's got like a little elastic thing at the end so it makes it like a nice puff sleeve. Um, it's like a square neck kind of vibe. Um, and then 
it's sort of like puffy around the boobs around the bust as they say on the website so this top for five pounds and i thought that was a bit of a bargain it's not out there but it's not just a plain top like it's just a nice little cute top to put on some jeans or some leggings yeah just to go to like a nice meal in but it's not going to be see-through at all and you have zero worries about that um and then for five pound i think it's just a really nice bargain for a nice simple plain top um you can literally wear it with anything because it's black and you can literally wear it anywhere <laughs> But yeah, £5 for that top, it just kind of brought me in, you know. Okay, so this was one of the more expensive things in the haul. So this puffer jacket was £18. However, for a puffer jacket, a coat, anything like that, that's a bit of a bargain. This is the jacket. So I just think it's a really nice colour. And it's just a really nice puffer jacket. It looks like it's going to be warm. Inside is just like your normal coat material. It's not like fluffy or anything. Um, but then it's got like a little funnel neck so it's got a little collar going on and a nude zip which I'm really happy about because there's nothing worse than buying like a nude coat and having like a bright green or black zip, do you know what I mean? Um, so it's nice as like a little zip that blends in with the colour of the coat. The bottom it's got like a little stretchy bit so it kind of draws in at the waist. Um, I reckon this will just be like a nice fitting coat on me, it won't be too big, it won't be too small. The thing that I have to critique about the coat is it's not like a waterproof kind of vibes um if you were to get it dirty get some makeup on the collar i don't think it's as easy as just getting a makeup wipe and rubbing it off which is kind of bad because i need that in a coat i think for 18 pounds this is such a bargain um if i remember rightly they've done this in a black and a sort of khaki green as well so if you're just looking for a basic puffer jacket then definitely have a look um but yeah this I literally just love this coat. So that is everything I bought in the haul this time. Um, I do hope to do another Boohoo, Boohoo? Boohoo haul again. Just because I do quite like the clothes. I think the price is really good for what you're getting. And they do actually do some nice things there. This order roughly came to about 65 to £70. Pounds. Um, I think that's a really good price seeing as you're getting a full on puffer jacket. Some joggers, basic tops, just everything really. Let me know if you wanted me to do it again. Or let me know in the comments if you want me to try any other brands. If you did like this video, give it a thumbs up. And subscribe to my channel below for more. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.